In this video, we're going to look at inequalities where one is linear and one is quadratic. This is question number six. We've got part A and we're asked to find the set of values of x that satisfy x plus one is less than zero. So this is a basic linear inequality and all we need to do is subtract one from each side. So we'll have now that x is going to be less than negative one. So the set of values x is strictly less than negative one. In part B, we need to find the set of values of x that satisfy the quantity x minus 1 multiplied by the quantity x plus 2 is less than 0. In the last video, we looked at quadratic inequalities. This is already factored, so we can find our critical values. They're going to be 1 and negative 2. So I'm going to draw a quick sketch. Let's go ahead and draw a sketch. And we will look now at the set of values that satisfy this. So on the sketch, I'm going to have this point just here. That is going to be the negative 2. This point just here, which is going to be the positive 1. And we know this is the line where we have 0. So the parabola will open up. It's a positive parabola. It will come round and look, give or take something like so. This isn't brilliant. In fact, I'll just change that and put it there. It just gives us some idea. So that's now our point 1. So what we want to know is where this is going to be less than zero. So if we look now, the curve is here. So all values give us now a value of less than zero. They're below the line. Therefore, we can state now that x is going to be strictly greater than negative two, yet in turn, strictly less than positive one. We can see it's a strict inequality. And if it wasn't, we would include the values of negative 2 and positive 1. In part C, we need to find the set of values of x that satisfy both x plus 1 is less than 0 and the quantity x minus 1 multiplied by the quantity x plus 2 is less than 0. What I'm going to do here is just look at this point here. This is going to be the point now where we have negative 1. I'm going to go ahead and draw on the number line, the linear inequality. Now, the linear inequality will have an open dot at negative 1, and it will be all values to the left. So we've got all of these values here. What we need to consider is the, the region that is going to satisfy both. So what we need in that particular region is both the line and the shading. And we can see that we have the line and the shading in the interval just here. And that is where x is going to be strictly greater than negative 2, yet in turn strictly less than negative 1. So if we want the set of values of both, we need the line that represents the linear and the shading that represents the quadratic. This particular region isn't satisfied by the linear, it's only satisfied by the quadratic. This part here is satisfied by the linear, but it's not satisfied by the quadratic as the curve is above zero. So a quick sketch will help us. So this is our answer to part A. This is our answer to part B. And finally, this is our answer to part C. OK, question seven. Find the set of values of x that satisfy both. 7x is equal to or greater than 4 minus 2x squared and 2x minus 3 is less than 0. So let's just look at this linear inequality to begin with. So we've got 2x minus 3 is going to be less than 0. So we have 2x is going to be less than 3 and x is going to be less and strictly less than 3 over 2. Let's just uh, rearrange this right here. So I'm going to add the 2x squared to both sides. So 2x squared, then we're going to have plus 7x minus 4 is going to be equal to or greater than 0. This looks like it's going to factor what we're going to have 2x minus 1 and then x plus 4 is equal to or greater than 0. Critical values from this, we've got 1 half and negative 4. So let's go ahead and draw a sketch. This is going to be my sketch. Let's just go for a white on that. Uh, so my sketch of the parabola. Let's put this on. So we've got to now negative 4. So if I put that just there, that's going to be negative 4. And then we've got to now positive 1 half. That will be just there. The parabola is going to open upwards. It'll look something, give or take, like so. So let's just curl that round. And then it'll come through here. And that's what we have. 
So here is my sketch. We want to know where this is going to be equal to or greater than zero. Well, if we consider now, this is going to be above the line. Remember, this is our zero point. Well, as we saw in the last video, we want it above there. So we can see from this now that x is going to be equal to or less than negative 4, and we have x equal to or greater than positive 1 half. They are the set of values that satisfy the quadratic. So let's now go ahead and put this linear one on. Now that linear one, and this isn't a massively accurate scale, is going to be just here at 3 over 2. So if I just put that there, that's going to be the open dot. So that's what we've got. And it's going to be now on here less and strictly less than 3 over 2. So we're going to have this scenario. So what we're looking for now is the interval or intervals where we have both the line and the shading. We can see the first one is just here. So we can say that x is going to be less than the 3 over 2, yet in turn equal to or greater now than the positive one half. That accommodates this part right here. And we've got now that x is going to be, and on here, remember, it needs to satisfy both. So what we're going to have is that x is going to be less than and strictly less. Remember, this is a strict inequality. x is going to be uh, less and strictly less than negative 4. So these are our two intervals. It won't, we can't have x is equal to or less than negative 4 because the linear doesn't, uh, doesn't satisfy that one. So as you can see, a sketch on both, consider now for solutions and then just check whether you've got a strict or an inclusive inequality.